Hello, my friends. Welcome back for the final time on this Thursday, December 31st, 2020. This is 2020. I'm the Drunk Boat Guru, Taste Beer Time, final beer of the night. Well, <laughs> final beer of the night I'm going to share with you folks, but uh, there's a few more of these in my future. 2020 was a different year. 2020 was not a year any of us could have imagined with the pandemic, the lockdowns, the turmoil to the south of us. And all around the world, everybody realizes there's an awakening, there's a change. And I'm hoping we come out of this in a different place. And we've changed what normal is because we cannot go back to normal because normal is not good for everyone. No justice, no peace. We've got to make it better. So when I did my 10 beers this year, my 10 most memorable beers, the 10 I call it. I've been doing this for five years now. So I just, I'm very proud of how I do that. It's not about the 10 best beers, although all the beers are really good. It's about the 10 most memorable beers, the beers that stuck with me. And number one this year, and it's, it's, it's the first time it's happened where it's just a regularly available beer. Number one this year was Headstock from Nickel Brook. Why was Headstock number one? First of all, it's a very good beer. It is the best West Coast IPA available in Ontario right now. Hands down, pick it up, buy it, you'll love it. But more than that, it was a trusted pint. Heads, Nickel Brook has never let me down. They always deliver on whatever they promise is on the can. Number two, it's a comfort beer because I know what I'm getting, and I know what it gives me every single time. I love just having it in the fridge, because I know if I have it, I'm going to enjoy it. I might not talk about it. I might just pour my glass and watch my YouTube videos, or the hockey game, or the baseball, or the footballs, or whatever I'm watching, a Disney movie. But it was there for me every single time. So thank you to Nickelbrook for all they've done this year. Thank you to you for following along. Um, I sometimes, you know, I leave it a little hard to do it, I, I know. And I don't mean to trivialize it at all. We are doing our very, very best in a very, very difficult time. So I raise a glass to you, my friends. Thank you for everything you've given me this year. Every comment, every watch, every time you just say, hey, I appreciate it. Cheers. If I got to tell you about it, it's too late. Orange grapefruit pith. Nice, nice note of you know biscuity malts in the background, bitter pine resin on the back. It's just, it's a beautiful beer. It's fantastic. My go-to beer is a seven percent IPA, and that's a great thing. Be good to each other. Be kind to yourself. Let's make it. We, we are so, so close. But the next couple months are going to be difficult. So we are going to be the difference. You can do this. I believe in you, and I want to thank you again from the bottom of my heart for twenty twenty. You helped me get through it. I honestly don't know where I'd be without all of you. Thank you. Cheers. Let's go celebrate New Year's.